So it's a rainy, dreary day, and uh, but a good day. Erica and I had a meeting earlier this morning with State Senator Judy Schwank. She's the Minority Chair of the uh, Agricultural and Rural Affairs Committee in the State Senate, and she will be the prime co-sponsor of the Pennsylvania Hemp Bill along with State Senator Mike Fulmer. We've met with Schwank before, we've gotten her support, and we've gotten her on, on board to be a prime co-sponsor. And today was just basically to fill her in on our meeting that we held with State Senator Mike Fulmer last week. Now, that was earlier today. We had a really good meeting with State Senator Judy Swank. She's really enthusiastic. She's on board. She's just as excited as State Senator Mike Fulmer is about it. And Mike Fulmer can hardly even contain his enthusiasm. But now, we're in the city of Reading. The lovely Erica McBride and I are going to see Tom Wolf at the Goggle Works. And uh, this will be the third time that we've gotten a chance to uh, see Tom Wolf. The first two times that we met him at a fundraiser at State Senator Dalen Leach's house uh, down around Philadelphia a few months ago. And at that meeting, we gave him a copy of my book, Hempstone Heritage, a book about the history of the hemp industry in Pennsylvania. And uh, we told him about the hemp bill that we're going to introduce, and we asked him to support it. We also uh, talked to him about medical cannabis and decriminalization, cannabis reform in general, and he was very enthusiastic. We met him again here in Reading uh, about a month ago, and we got a chance to meet him again and have another talk with him. And I reminded him about the, the book and about the information that we gave him, and, um, you know, asked if we, he, we could pose for a picture with us, which he gratefully and enthusiastically did. And that's why we support Tom Wolf. We need change in Pennsylvania. Now, we're uh, basically in, involved with cannabis reform. So sometimes people will say to us, well, you guys are one issue voters. I want to tell you something. There is a thousand reasons to vote for uh, Tom Wolf and against Tom Corbett. And, uh, you know, I could get into this, but what we're primarily concerned about is industrial hemp, medical cannabis, decriminalization, and we want Pennsylvania to have a mature discussion into the uh, possibility of le legalizing, taxing, and regulating cannabis, just like Colorado and Washington and probably Alaska and Oregon are going to do, and the uh, District of Columbia. We're all going to vote on it next Tuesday, November 4th. So it's an important election. Make sure you get out there and vote next Tuesday, November 4th, for Governor Tom Wolf. We have a list of uh, candidates that we support and endorse on our website, KeystoneCanvasCoalition.org. And we encourage you to go to that website. Also come to our Facebook page. We have two of them, Pennsylvania Hempland Security, which is good for handing, uh, keeping you updated on everything that's going on and then we have a page that's more suited for discussion which is our Keystone Cannabis Coalition Facebook page so come to both of them come to our website check us out and uh, regardless of who wins the election we're going to keep working for cannabis and hemp reform in Pennsylvania and hasten the day when the national prohibition of cannabis and hemp falls so get out there and vote for Tom Wolf.